I am ready to be the world ender! G'day, True North Koala here guys, welcome back to another League of Legends video. Today we're going to be doing another shoutcast. This time it was sent in by this man right here, the Darken himself, that is Aatrox. So we're going to be following Aatrox around a little bit more than the others, but we're going to have a look at how this game shakes out. No doubt this guy right here has some influence on the game. So as I said, we'll be following Aatrox around, he sent in the video. He's going to be playing in the top lane versus Garen. We have a Yi versus Nocturne in the jungle. We have an Annie versus Ziggs in the mid lane. A Jin and Shen in the bot lane. And an Ash and Lux in the bot lane for the red side. Alright guys, so if you do like this video, make sure you hit that like button, guys. It really helps me out a lot. So smash that like button Minions right there. And let's get into this game right away, guys. Doesn't look like any shenanigans will be taking part in the first little bit here. Blue side will be taking their red with the Yi, while Lux and Nocturne and Ash will be taking the blue for the Nocturne on the red side. Garen and Aatrox just hanging out by the towers. What is Aatrox? That is a pretty sweet, nice basic skin. Pretty fucking sweet. Alright, Ziggs. I really like this skin too. Kind of looks like Evil Knievel. You guys know who Evil Knievel is? He's like, uh, he rode motorbikes back in the 70s and 80s. He used to jump shit, never landed it. But he was, uh, had balls of steel, that guy. Alright, Aatrox in the top lane here. Aatrox is pretty fucking strong uh, in 8.14 for the patch. Very, very strong. Oh, he's gonna smash him with a Q. And another one. He's got Conqueror, so he might just be able to win this trade straight out. Garen with his passive can get out of combat here. No, he's gonna stay in combat. Tries down with his Q, lands it, silences on the Darken. Then he comes uh, Aatrox, has propped his Conqueror. He might just be able to smack him in the face with the Q. Garen has to flash away. Very nice start for the Aatrox. Oh, big fucking bomb landing on Annie's head there. She won't be liking that at all. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Looks like Lux getting a kill on the Jin here. Let's have a look at how that transpires. E lands by the Lux. She's going to land a binding here. How's this going to shake up? In the brush here. High Noon Jin gets hit by the Q. W by the Ash. And that is game fucking over for Jin. Good night, son. Alright, so you probably should be tracking to the top side here. Oh, double kill. Looks like Ash picks up the kill on the Shen. Who's teleporting in here? It is Jin. He teleports back in. Yi's coming in. They want to get this Ash. Looks like Ash is uh, no hope for the world. I don't know why does Jin flash for that. Flashes. Doesn't get the kill. Nice use of your fucking flash. Not. Anyway, it looks like Zig is pushing in this lane. Nocturne's tracking topside through the river. Probably looking to get a gank. Only half health here. He's going to steal a blue of Yi. Knowing Yi was just bot side. Probably didn't see him with the buff. Realize his blue is available. He's going to take that away. Good work by the Nocturne. Understanding where Yi cannot possibly be. And he can't be topside. So there you go. Aatrox hasn't done anything special so far in this game. Not particularly doing much at all. But he did get that flash early. Let's see if he can take advantage of that right now. I spin the wind. Garen comes sliding on in. Going to get a lot of damage down here. But Aatrox might just be a pot conquer. He does. Flash goes in by the Aatrox to get away from the damage. Garen's got to, He's dead. Garen is fucking dead. He's going to spin to win. Aatrox moves out of there. But he's going to channel. They're both going to try to bait each other in, he seems. Because Garen's got his Q. <laughs> W goes down by Aatrox. He's going to smack him in the face. Good night, Garen. That's the first kill to the Aatrox. Good night, Garen. Looks like Nocturne. Looks like Yi's going to... He's going to quickly find out here. He hasn't got a blue. So let's see the disappointment on Yi's face when he realizes he hasn't got a blue. Here he comes. He's like, I'm going to get my blue. Can't wait to get my blue. Ha! Ah! My blue's gone. Wonder where it is. Stolen, champ. Absolutely stolen. High Noon Jin's going to sit down in bot side, see if he can pick up a kill for himself. He has used his flash, so is Shen. So not a whole lot of summoners down bot side available for the blue team. As Jin was using his a little too gregariously. Q's going to land on the Shen. Can they make something done here? Q by Ash is going to rocket a lot of damage onto that Shen. Just could not get away. Looks like he's tracking top side until this Garen's going to get ganked. World Ender, fucking, here we go. The Aatrox lands his W, pulls back the Garen. 
He's going to spin to win, but he's game, set, match. Looks like Aatrox picks up the kill there onto the Garen. That's his second of the game. A nice little gank by the Yi. When you get, when Aatrox lands his W, if you stay in that area of effect, it pulls you towards the center. So you just need to get out of there as soon as you can. Garen was not able to do that. Without his flash, he does die. His flash is about halfway in. Up there, bot side looking at the CS numbers. Jin's farming pretty well. Ash is having a little hard time last hitting right now. Ash is just going to miss another one there in the mid lane. Looks like Annie's doing a pretty good job on the old farm there, taking care of business on the zigs. So he's setting up for a. Uh, wants to go in with an alpha strike. But it's not going to get that. Nocturne's going to track in here, see if he can find the Yi. Does not find him, has a red buff and has a lot more health. Looks like Nocturne's going to come down bot lane. He hasn't got level 6 yet. Otherwise, that could have been lights out for Yi. Although he doesn't have vision of him, so probably not. Excuse me. Let's see what this Ash can do. Hey! Hey! Garen with some... Let's see what oh, Okay, looks like it's got to be a tower dive here. A lot of damage here. World Ender by the Aatrox. Isn't going to get the passive. Oh, it does get the passive, but it's only level 1 passive. Almost gets the kill, but it is that tower shot. So Garen really didn't get the kill as much as Aatrox killed himself. Probably sm he's smelling himself a little bit. And he goes in with her ultimate. Hello, Tibbers, rolling up. Knocking on the front door of Ziggs' face. Isn't able to get the kill. Didn't have the stun up, though. So when you're dropping tib Tibbers, it's really important. Well, it's not really important. I would say it's absolutely maximally important. That you have your stun up available, so when you drop Tibbers, it stuns them right away. You can follow up with some more damage. Um, and he didn't do it there. Not sure if she would have got the kill anyway, but certainly the small things you want to practice um, to maximize your damage. Lux is oh, sorry, Ash is hanging out in, here in the bushes. I don't know if they know if she is there. They've got to assume so. Ash lands a W. Going to go in on a Q. Going to get rooted up by Jin. Shen comes in, lands a taunt, but that's about all she wrote for that trade. Good trade for both teams, actually, as Garen takes down the Aatrox again. How does that happen? He must have his ultimate available. Aatrox comes in, goes with a W, brings him into the middle. Looks like Aatrox has got all the damage here. Gets Silas up. He comes with true damage, and there you go. Ultimate lands, Justice of Demacia. Don't actually know what it's called, but I'm going to go with Justice of Demacia. It's true damage, I would believe... Aatrox was the villain, and obviously extra true damage goes on to the villain. So Garen picks up his second kill of the day, as Ash picks up the kill onto the Shen. Let's just backtrack a little bit. Jin's very, very low. Ingo Shen taunts up the Lux. Lands the Ignite, but her W is able to get her a shield, keep her alive, and Ash does the rest of the business. Lands her Q. I should say lands her Q. Procs her Q. What's she running? She's running Fleet Footwork. Not fantastic. Lethal Tempo is definitely better on the Ash, in my opinion. Although Ash gets the kill, that's her second of the game. And she's got herself a nice little lead over the Jin. Jin's got a BF Sword. Not sure what he's working towards there. Maybe Storm Razor. We'll see how. See what he gets. I think Aatrox is probably working towards his Black Cleaver. And Garen's gone for an early Bramble Fest. We'll help him with those trades. What else can we say here? Ash is going for an early BF sword. I probably would have gone towards Blade of the Ruin King with Aatrox and Shen as pretty tanky people. But hey, each to their own, I guess. And some people are just wrong. Nocturne's topside. Aatrox is pushing in this wave, so Nocturne with his paranoia. Paranoia, it's called? Yeah, paranoia. I mean, he's not really low enough at the moment, but as uh, Yi takes that Ocean Drake. Looks like Nocturne is tracking for a gank here. Nocturne doesn't seem like he wants to go in. No, here he comes. Aatrox is balls deep into this. He really wants it. Here comes Paranoia. Goes down to the Aatrox. Aatrox is going to proc his ultimate as W lands for Nocturne. He does have Resurrection here. He does. There he goes. Resurrection gets propped. Is he going to have enough to get away from this? Flashes away. Manages to get himself out of trouble there. Nicely done by, no uh, sorry, by Aatrox. Did have to burn his flash though. So we'll see if Nocturne comes back for another gank. Aatrox is going to be using his refillable potion to get up some health. Let's go into the mid lane here. Annie 
did just have Tibbers, but again, not really using it to a, a maximum. Down the bot lane, Jin has a CS advantage, pretty hefty CS advantage, I should say. The two kills has probably made that a fairly equal in gold for the two ADCs. Shen's here in the bush looking for a, a taunt, I'd imagine. Onto either or of them. Probably wants to get the luck so she can uh, not use her binding. Gonna have to move out of the brush there as the wave gets pushed in. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, what's he up to here? Haven't seen much since he ganked the top lane early. Been kind of passive, I must say. And getting out jungled by the Nocturne here. A lot of power farming going on. Smacks him in the face with the Q. Does Aatrox is going to smack him again in the face. That was the second of the three Qs that you can throw down. Just click him onto there. There we go. The Darkened Blade. Going to go in again on this Garen, who has got his passive rolling. He's out of combat. As he just farms it up. He's in the top side. But nothing to gank up here as Aatrox continues to push in the wave. That's a nice CS advantage here. Yeah, he's going to make Garen back. Probably a smart move. Nocturne is bot side. Not going to get anything done as Nocturne's going to venture into the mid lane. Dropping a shallow ward into the jungle of the blue team. Jin and Shen realizing that Nocturne is around. Smartly back away. In the mid lane, they, they spot out Nocturne. He's coming up towards the top side. I don't know if you really want to be showing yourself through the middle of the lane, letting everyone know where you are. Yi knows where he is now. He's going to try to find him here. Probably realize he shouldn't be ganking. He's going, he's going to go in anyway. Nocturne's going to find him. He knows he's there. Here he comes. Ho oh, ho, smite down onto the Yi. Ziggs with the bomb. Let's just go back 15 seconds because Ziggs, evil Knievel Ziggs. We're going to watch him here. Obviously, Nocturne knows what's going on. I'm going to follow the Ziggs here. He knows what's happening. Throws that from the other side of the river. LeBron James in 4-3. The Nocturne is topside. The Dark in here, the Aatrox, should know about that. It's Nocturne. It's going to start up the Rift Herald. Working on those neutral objectives. Nicely done. See if they can get themselves rolling for an early lead. They've already got about a thousand gold advantage onto the blue. And picking up this uh, this Rift Herald will help them get first brick. And uh, get a little extra gold on their side here. Clay Annie's venturing down bot side. Plenty of pings going down as Ziggs is saying, Where the fuck is this Annie? Watch out, guys. Oi, the arrow just narrowly misses. But here comes Tibber. Drops it down onto the Ziggs, who has barrier. Drops the Ignite. Not be able to get the final ticks on him there. As Lux and Ash come in to help out. Shen's rolling through. Jin with his ultimate. Gets the kill onto the Ash. Maybe able to get more. He does double kill to the Jin. Just busting out his long-range fucking targeted missiles. What is that even called? Curtain Call! Curtain Call coming down by the Jin gets a double kill. Very nice. As Yi manages to find the very low Ziggs. Here's Ziggs. Pretty low. He's like, I'm fine. I'm still fine. I'm still fine. I'm gonna back here. Oh shit, there's a fucking Yi Alpha Strikes in. Are they gonna die? Going to die? No, he doesn't. He manages to stay out of trouble, and that's a nice little gold advantage for the blue side. As Garen's going to go in hard in the paint here, might just have him. Oh, oh, oh. beautiful work by the Aatrox. Not sure he can get away from this. Oh, five, six health. Stop it. Don't even. Oh my God. Watch this, guys. Okay. So first of all, you got the the, the outplay here, ultimate. And the Garen, who takes him down so Spinning to win Garen. He's going to take two shower shots. And then gets auto-attacked in the face. That is tilting as fuck. If you're the Garen. Ended up going down. That's a third kill to the Aatrox. He's probably thanking his lucky stars that he survives that one. Just barely. Like, that is almost perfect. Two or three or four HP he survives after using his ultimate... To stay alive. Shouldn't say that. Died and then resurrected. So he actually did die. Shen's down here clearing out a ward. Gets queued. Jin's. Oh my god. Gets the root down. 
Tin's got a lot of damage at the moment. Throws down the bouncy grenades. Uh oh, there's the root. There's the ultimate from Lux. Who has to flash away. Six comes in with his ultimate. What's that called again? I don't fucking know. A lot of damage happening. It's a fucking fiesta in the bot lane. Down goes Shen to the ash. Could be a little bit more here. Nocturne has to flash away from the Annie. Six gets a kill onto the Annie though. And Yi has to scurry away. Tail between his legs. La Fiesta in the bot lane. Red side take a thousand gold advantage. Again, they'll get first brick here as Shelly is spawned in the bot lane. Six does a tremendous amount of damage to the towers anyway. Boom, there goes Shelly. She's like, thank goodness I'm on the map. See if she can get... Shelly's definitely getting another charge in this. She's going to charge up. and she goes, there goes Shelly. Boom. A lot of damage down. First brick to the red side. They pick up some more gold. They're about 2... 2k up. As Shelly does die there. The Aatrox is going super deep here. Aatrox got the W. The land in with the Q. One auto attacker will do it. That's another kill. The Aatrox who just quietly... Now that he has his uh, Black Cleaver... And his Ninja Tabby. He's pretty fucking strong. Gets his fourth kill of the game. Jin... He ends up completing his Storm Razors as Ash has gone. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened there? All right, Ash. I think she bought Essence Reaver. Okay. She buys Essence Reaver. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's the wrong item. Sells it. Go Storm Razor. <gasps> Don't see a lot of Ash with Storm Razor. I think Blade of the Ruin King would have been better. Not exactly that bursty champion, I must say. Damage over time, DPS for sure, but bursty, no. I wouldn't have thought so. Anyways, moving on. Annie hasn't got a kill yet. She's definitely been around the map, showing herself, making a presence known. She's been farming very, very well. Excuse me. As Aatrox takes the top side tier 1 turret. Infernal Drank very nice as the arrow lands onto the Shen. But he's going to... Uh, going to just laugh that off. Damage isn't there. Yi picks up the Infernal Drake, but Nocturne gets the double kill onto the Yi and the Shen. Annie comes in, cleans up the Annie, and Annie cleans up Nocturne as well, with the help of Tebas. And that is a two for... What is that? A two for two trade? Two for two trade. Go on even, but they get the Infernal Drake, so advantage to the blue side in that little skirmish there as... Whoa! Aatrox is popping off now. Alright, uh, Aatrox... Garen's under turret. Lands a Q. Lands another Q. Spin to win by the Garen. And he comes. He's going to fight him out. Conqueror does proc for the Aatrox. W. He's got his ultimate, so he's going to resurrect if need be. And he just dukes it out with the Garen. Doesn't give a fuck. What is that? World Ender? It's called? Yeah, World Ender. His ultimate. He was going to resurrect anyway. Ash looks like she wants to cover top lane. A lot of damage. That's a fifth kill for this Aatrox. Looking very, very strong. Got to say... As I was saying earlier, Aatrox is just fucking broken. Like, really, like, outplays for days. His Q can proc three times. Auto attack resets. He's got CC. He's got a resurrection. Like, he's got... Like, his kit is nuts. Compare his kit to, say... It's an earlier champion. Like, Nunu. Nunu's fucking useless. And I know Nunu is, uh... Like, a support jungler... But, like, when you think of the kit that Nunu has, and compared to Aatrox now, it's like apples and oranges, man. Anyways, Lux and Ash, which, let's just say, like, look at them. They're almost like shopping from the very same store. Color coordinated. They definitely called each other this morning and said, hey, what are you wearing to the rift? I want to wear the same thing. Ash is like, well, I'm going to go with the blue. A little bit of gold. What do you think? She's like, I'm thinking the blue and the gold, too. We should totally wear it together. And they do. Best friends forever. Rocking the same clothes. As uh, Red Side want to do a, get a little pressure here in the mid lane. They're not actually really pushing it out with any... As a uh, little bomb throws doesn't land. Trying to get this mid lane turret. But they're not going to do that. It doesn't look like. Aatrox just looks like he switched down the bot side. Says, right, guys, I will take care of this. Let me carry. So he's going to land all sorts of shit. Lands his first Q and then the W onto the Nocturne. Takes a tower shot. As Ash has got to wander down to the bot side. No, she's not. Leaving Nocturne, he probably shouldn't be defending a tower. Oh, Ash looks like she's coming in. Does she have her arrow? She has her arrow. In goes the arrow. Lands onto the Aatrox. 
doesn't matter. He just fucking smashes Doctor in the face. He's gonna get a double kill here. Look at that. Look at that. Pops ultimate. Lands a couple of Qs. Good fucking night. Aatrox with a double kill. And that's not even an outplay. But perhaps Ash shouldn't have been engaging and Nocturne should have been disengaging. Maybe they'll learn, maybe they won't. But you can see there's not a lot in this game. The Drakes are probably the only thing that separates the teams at this moment. And the fact that Aatrox is 7-2 and two just quietly is making a name for himself on the Rift. As Yi takes Tier 2 turret in the top side and uh, Jin and Aatrox will take Tier 1 turret in the bot side. So just like that, the game opens up a little bit. Got some long lanes on the side lanes for the blue side. Not that they have any assassins to really, but I mean, Yi could find himself in that jungle collecting an ash as she wanders around. Yi in a lot of trouble here. Shen goes in with a taunt and there is Aatrox sitting in the bush. Lux gets a return kill on the Shen, but Aatrox is going hard in the paint here. Might just have to wander out there. Does not have his ultimate available to him. Jin's playing with fire if he wants to hang out there. Does a nice job avoiding all of the CC damage as Aatrox goes in, lands two Qs and says, Good fucking night, Lux. Your beautiful blue dress isn't going to save you here. This Paranoia is used, but... Actually, let's see how that plays out. Paranoia is used by Nocturne. Here's Annie. Chilling mid-tier turret. Garen's going to come in. He's going to spin to win. Stanley goes down onto the Garen. She's like, I can hang out here. Nope. Paranoid comes in by the Nocturne. Takes out the Annie. She is super squishy. There goes all your stacks on your Magi's Annie. TFC champ. If you don't know what TFC means, it means thanks for coming. Garen's going to wander to the bot side. Everyone needs to help out with his Aatrox, who's just gone to 8 to 1 as he's going in. Oh my god! Destroys that fucking Ziggs. Wow! Whoa, Garen! Fucking hell. Demacian Justice with the 850 gold shutdown. Thanks for coming out. But man, that kill on the Ziggs. And I know Ziggs is squishy, but it was two Qs. Good fucking night, he says. What's gonna, what's gonna buy that? He had a lot of gold. It's also got the tier map, which is another auto attack reset. It's Garen's in a lot of trouble here. Okay, Shen, Shen land a taunt. Can't do that. Jin's gonna shoot him, which is negligible damage. Aatrox buys his Titanic Hydra straight up. Jin's in a lot of trouble here. He's going to get away with the Stormwaze's proc. Double stunned by the Lux with her Q. Not going to be able to follow up on that damage though. The Ash Arrow is unavailable at this moment, but Lux has got final spark, so she might be able to pop that if she gets another Q to land. Jin's playing with she's playing a lot of fire here. But that man, look at that speed. That speed from the Storm Razors. Ooh, so much speed. Not turning in the top side, hanging out as Aatrox. Oh! Wait a sec, did he teleport? Alright, let's follow Aatrox. He kills the Ash. Ash wants to defend her bottom turret, but she's got to run straight. Straight into the Aatrox. Q, 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 W. That's fucking it for the Ash. Just dead. Aatrox gets his 10th kill of the game. As Jin lines up for the curtain call, he's going to land a couple of shots onto the Garen and Ziggs. Taunted up by the Shen. That's going to be a dead Garen. Spins the win, does not die. Shen gets out with his life. Tibbins is, re is uh, assigned to come in for some duties here. He's going to tank up most of the damage. That's another kill over to the blue side. We've gone out to about a 3k gold advantage here. That goes out to 4 just now. About 3,500 gold. And I've got to say, they're running away with the game right now. Jin looking pretty freaking strong. Looking very fast on the rift. But they've got Aatrox. Look at this guy. 10 kills. As Nocturne with the Paranoia is going to pick up the Jin. Pretty much a given every single time he has it up. Shen comes in, taunts up. Beautiful taunt by the Shen. Makes that play happen. And Annie picks up the kill onto the Nocturne. Let's have a look at the builds for the moment, guys, while we little break in the play. Annie's got her Luden's Echo. Got a Magi's stacked up to eight now. It's pretty freaking nice. Hold the phone. Lux tries to get a binding on. Does not get it as Ziggs picks up a tower. Yeah, picks up the mid lane tier 1 tower there. Ziggs also has his Luden's Echo. Lux has a Luden's Echo. Plenty of damage over there. Yi has his Blade of the Ruin King. Pretty good build against the Garen. Excuse me. Uh, but the Rapid Fire Cannon and the Storm Razors is on the Jin as... 
Really? Really? It's gonna 3v... 1v3. Alright, here it is. We need everyone, guys! W lands by the ass, does negative damage. Lands the Q. Doesn't matter. He's gonna... <laughs> fucking Christ! Q, Q, W. Almost annihilates both of them. They pick up two kills. That was ridiculous damage. This fucking Aatrox is busted. Auto attack resets are real. QQW probably goes down with the team at as well. Just annihilates them. Absolutely ridiculous. All sorts of action happening on this rift. They've got no time to even take a breath. As they're knocking on the uh, tier 3 turret on the bottom side. Look at the damage! What is happening here? Look at Nocturne. How much health does he have? He has 1,500 health. Here he is. He's full health. Q. W. Q. Auto attack reset. Dead. It's like he didn't even exist on the rift. Fucking hell. Absolutely ridiculous. Aatrox has his, uh, his ultimate up here. He wants to go. He wanted to go in on that kill as he's going to resurrect. Gets a little bit of health. He might go down here. Of course he won't. Of course he won't go down. Three members of the blue side are really, really low. Shen picks up a kill onto the Ash. He will go down to the Lux in the end as Curtain Call opens up. Doesn't get any kills there. As Look at this Aatrox feeling so ballsy. Another shutdown gold to the Garen. Garen's about $1,800 just in shutdown gold. Rich man. He's going purely defensive stats. Hasn't picked up his Spirit Visage. Which uh, would help him with his passive. So I don't want that shit. I'm just going to go full armor, which doesn't matter. Because look at this. Death Dance was bought straight up and a pickaxe. So there's so much damage on the side of Aatrox as hold the phone. Final Spark is going to land, but nothing going to come transpiring from that. As yeah, he's in a bit of trouble here. He might just get Demarcy Justin in the face here. Here we go. No, no he's going to spin the win. Oh, Garen! Double kill to the Garen. Spin the win into the queue. He hasn't got any damage. He's got a black cleaver. That's it. He's just got armor. Doesn't matter. He shreds everybody when he's spinning to winning. Why does why does he have a static shiv? You guys don't build static shiv on Nocturne. Like, seriously. I know he's going for the burst, but you're playing from behind here, champ. Actually, maybe you just need to do what you need to do. Want extra damage on that paranoia as Red Team pick up the Drake. It's a nice little mountain Drake for their pockets. As blue side, without their uh, little dark in here, I'm going to throw a little bit. Q misses with the second Q. Auto attack reset. Three attacks. And Lux is dead. This fucking darken. This Aatrox is a monstrosity to League of Legends. So fucking tanky. So fed. So broken right now. He picks up his 13th kill. We're 24 minutes into the game. And he's going to laugh it up. Whoa! And he flashes in. Drops a Tibbers on Zig's face. And does die for trouble as Nocturne picks up the kill there. Shen goes in looking for a taunt. Does not find it. Garen might just be able to pick him up here. Demarcian Justice in the middle of Shen's face. Here's Aatrox. He wants to fight this out. He's got plenty of damage. He's going to Q. W does not land on anyone. He might be in a little bit of trouble here. Doesn't have his ultimate. He's going to get out of there. He does manage to get himself out of there. How much health do you have left? 70 HP. Don't think he's going to live. He's going to try to back here. As he does. Lux is just going to shoot into nowhere. Doesn't pick up the kill. Garen is spinning to win. He gets rooted by the Jin. He's going to pick him up with the Blade of the Ruined King. I don't think he's got enough damage at this point. Jin and Yi are both trying to kill this Garen who's got so much armor. He's just going to meditate in the middle of that fight. And Lux picks up the kill onto the Yi. But Jin does pick up Garen. Jin might go down here to Lux. No, he's going to go down to the Ash. So much action popping off here. Let's have a look at the builds again, guys. Now, Rune and Hurricane is on the Ash. Doing a little bit of AoE damage. Jin's working towards his Infinity Edge. He'll be ultimately a lot stronger then. Look at this Aatrox. Goes in. Q, W, Q. Tiamat. Fucking dead. I mean, I'm at nauseam, I'm going to say this. But he's really, really strong. His Aatrox is really, really strong. 212 CS. Almost at full build. 14 kills. 3 assists. Knocking on the door of tier 2 turret in the mid lane here is the blue side. They're about 3k gold advantage. But with his Aatrox, they can just fight every team fight anywhere they want to. They've got the advantages here. They're pushing up. They've only got three members. They don't care. 
as the pings go down for the Baron. Looks like they want to finish this game off as soon as possible. Who else is pretty strong on the blue team? Annie is strong. That's pretty much where it ends. Anyone strong on the red side? Not really. Situationally strong, but not particularly 5v5 strong. Garen's going to get stunned up. He's going to get CC chained. He's going to try to spin out of this as Ziggs. Oh my god! Look at this! Ziggs was in ultimate. He's going to throw the Mega Infernal Bomb. Right. Alright, where's this? Garen's going to get himself into trouble. Gets stunned up for days. Gets locked down. He's going to spin to win. Here comes Ziggs with the Mega Infernal Bomb. And then the Ash Arrow in the face. Shen dies. Garen lives. Nice little work there by the red team. Oh, here's final curtain call by Jin. Paranoia goes in. Paranoia gets the kill onto the Annie. And I'm going to go down to the fucking World Ender. World Ender? World Ender Aatrox just rolling in with a double kill. Big dick Aatrox with the more kills for days. Ash is going to be able to burn down that Aatrox. Six gets a final kill. He says, hey, I'll come on in. Jin gets to pick up the kill as well, though. And there you go. Just as luck would have it, four deaths to the red side. Three on the way to the blue side. I don't think blue can end it here. I've got Yi up, but uh, man, the triple kill almost to the Aatrox. He has 16 kills. Holy shit. Just like that. The game could be ending pretty soon as Jin's knocking down this inf inhibitor. It's going to get exhausted up by Lux and absolutely smoked. I don't know what Jin's doing there by himself. He's knocking on the uh, tier 3 turret topside. Nocturne's going to be able to stop him there. Big, big wave. I don't think Nocturne wants to fight him here. He has a lot of burst damage. Ziggs is going to help him out. Still waiting on uh, the Aatrox to spawn. And what are you finishing off this game? The gold advantage is 4,000. Significant, but not massive. As Garen might be able to find that Yi, he does not. Garen's a key to their victory here. If he can, if he can load up at the front and tank. Oh, nice arrow by the Ash. He's going to pick up the Yi, but nothing's going to come from it. No one's there to follow up on that CC. Yi Elf strikes in. I don't know what he's doing there. Mega Infernal Bomb comes down by the Ziggs and it destroys that Yi. And he's going to find himself in a lot of trouble. She goes golden, but I don't know for how long. She might just die anyway. She goes down to the Lux. Spinning to win by the Garen. In comes Aatrox. He's going to pop his ultimate. Paranoia down by the Nocturne. Might be able to pick him up. No, it doesn't matter. Jin's there to do enough damage as Aatrox is just taking all of the damage. Jin, relatively unscathed. And I say relatively. No one's fucking touched him. They've ignored his damage. Gotta watch out. He's got an Infinity Edge. He's gonna chase down. Oof. He's gonna chase down that Lux. And I think that's game over. They might be able to take. Should be able to take a couple of turrets. Maybe an inhibitor if they want to. Ziggs gets killed on the backside. That's ace for the blue team. No one was shooting the Jin. He has an Infinity Edge and Rapid Fire Cannon. Aatrox was just tanking everything up. He absorbed all of the damage. He had his ultimate. He res didn't actually have to res in the end. But they wasted all of their damage on him. As Q, W, Q. <laughs> Good night, Aatrox. You are huge, buddy. You are massive. They pick up that tier 3 turret in the mid lane. They're going to go into this Garen. He's going to spin to win. Q onto the face of Nocturne. <laughs> Auto attack reset. Jin shoots him in the face. He's got a lot of damage himself. They pick up the inhibitor in the mid lane. Hibida in the bot lane. Have they got it? No, they haven't got a turret wave. Haven't got a wave of that top lane. They might just be able to end here. They are pretty low. Wow, a lot of action. Jin just shoots Lux in the face. He's going to pick up the first uh, Nexus turret there. Going to work on the second Nexus turret. Mega Infernal Bomb picks up the kill onto the Shen. Doesn't matter. Garen's going to go down to the Aatrox. What else is fucking new? Aatrox with 18 kills. That is going to be the end of the game. Holy fucking shit. Just for shits and giggles. And he goes gold right in their face and says, you can't fucking kill me. GG, guys. Blue team take it out in that one. Have a look looking at the stats in this game before we finish. Aatrox, absolutely busted. Are you kidding me? Bruiser Aatrox is a Sterix in the end, Black Cleaver, Death Stance, and a Titanic Hydra. Mix that in with his, uh, with his armor boots, his Ninja Tabby. Fucking unkillable. Didn't have any magic resist. So, I mean, Ziggs was doing some damage to him, but once he has his ultimate, he can just res. And he's got so much damage. He's got auto attack resets in there. 
and he's just annihilating everyone that comes into his path. Jin wasn't strong until much later. He took over the game in the late game as uh, Aatrox was just taking all the damage and Jin was just dealing it out at the end. Pretty good team game. Blue side, huh, sorry, red side hung in there for a little bit, but Ash not very strong at all. Beyond Nocturne and Garen, not too much to hang your hat on if you are the red side. Guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. That was Bruiser Aatrox in the top lane, which is kind of the only way to build him anymore. Attack speed Aatrox is gone. you got to build him Bruisey. you got to build him tanky. And he will fucking carry you to victory. He's definitely a must ban, as in a lot of must bans are around the Rift at the moment. Guys, I had a great time. I hope you did too. If you like what you saw, drop a sub there, guys. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think of Aatrox. I think he's busted. He should be getting nerfed soon, I'm sure. You guys have yourself a great day, so will I, and I'll see you guys again next time.